Siri, what's the weather like in Minneapolis? It doesn't look so nice in Minneapolis, Minnesota today. Down to minus 25 degrees. Currently negative 20. Can't really see that on the screen. There we go. Negative 20 is the current temperature. These heat pumps supposedly start stop working at negative 22. Uh, but you can still see it's kicking off great heat. Our electric baseboard has not been active yet this winter. This is a 24,000 BTU unit. We have some more electric baseboard over here just to show you I'm not bullshitting. We have no other heat sources. That's a couch at 75 degrees. That is a refrigerator. That is a heated toilet seat. That is the only auxiliary heat in the building. You can see we got more electric baseboard back there. This thing is, I mean, second year running it. Uh, if you go outside, the, uh, the thermal camera can't even read the temperature that it currently is, but you can see that the air coming out is probably close to negative 30, negative 40 degrees because it's making cold outside and making heat inside. That's the concept of the heat pump. So what does the unit sound like at negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit? Actually, really chill. Back of the unit's not frosted up or anything. And it's nice and quiet, no vibration. And this is the hardest it's ever had to work. So we just finished a defrost cycle at negative 27 degrees in Minnesota. Holy crap, look at that. That is the current temperature. It's gonna go down to negative 29 today. Um, so down to negative 22, this thing just kicks ass and takes names. I was surprised that the, the manufacturer is very accurate in their rating to the, for the, the operating characteristics of the unit, we'll say. Uh, what happened was at negative 22, this thing was just kicking ass. When I was pointing up here into this area of the heat pump, uh, 100 degree F, just consistent. And with the fan on high, it's keeping it nice and actually at an unreasonable 75 degrees while it's negative 22 outside. Don't tell your grandpa that you keep your heat that high in the winter. Anyway, so this thing just got done wrapping up a defrost cycle and I've noticed that the coil has gone down to uh, even colder than ambient here, uh, 62. And then we're gonna see this. Wow, I haven't seen this on the thermal camera yet. So this is kind of cool to see. So it just got done running the defrost cycle and it looks like it's heating those coils up again. And uh, yeah, the refrigerant is flowing through the heat exchanger. And uh, yeah, this thing kicks back up to about 95 degrees, even when it is negative 27 degrees outside. Just unfreaking believable.